Welcome back, people. It's me again, whoever I am. Nah, Solar and Box, what is up? I figured I'd pick me up some Sun and Moon Guardians Risings and keep this search for the Tapu Lili going. I'm hoping at least pull at least one or two more. I just picked these up from the store, what, yesterday? Um, what is it? Uh, I don't know if you guys even care about worlds or not, but uh, Gardevoir has just won the whole entire thing. So basically, what that means for most people is when a deck like that wins, it shoots up the price of the cards. So expect Gardevoir to go from like 15 to at least 20 or maybe even higher than that. That's like since Tapu Lili is running so many decks and it's such a great staple, you see it running almost every single deck and the price is going up extremely high um, from what well, it started off like as a $30 card and it's almost doubled in price and over like in what less than a month. It started rising slowly, 35, 40, as we got closer to worlds, and then out of nowhere, the price just extremely just skyrocketed. So expect those bad boys to be um, some salt after hardcore cards, and then other cards that have also gone super high up, or that might also go up on the list, is uh, Galissapod. He had an extremely good showing this weekend at worlds. It actually took the number two spot. So we're expecting a, a lot of prices on those guys. I mean, it probably won't go up too much just because it's Galissapod. But if, what is it? I, I think I had the um, the Secret Rare Galissapod. Expect those guys maybe to shoot up by like another 10 to $20. It just depends on the market. That's really all. Um, cards from my older sets from Guardians Rising because they're going to be harder to get. They'll probably go up a lot more than per se Burning Shadows since it's still such a very new set. Metagross, I was really upset. This is the deck that I run. No one really ran it except in like the opening stage groups. And Metagross is like a really hard counter when it comes to Gardevoir. So I'm hoping that maybe in other tournaments, uh, we might actually uh, see some people teching. Not, well, not teching, playing uh, Metagross. I think I saw, what, a Metagross Vileplume deck? And that was really it. Um, most of the matches went on for extremely long periods of time, to be honest. A lot of it was... A lot of games going straight in a time. Um, I found it interesting, though. I wish I could have actually attended, just so I could have picked up a couple lots and whatnot and a couple other great things that you typically tend to get if you go to, like, to one of those big events. I think they were giving away... If you were just a watcher, you got a couple packs and like a little thing that said, hey, listen, I was here and I supported Pokemon and all those little cool things like that. But uh, I did not attend because I'm on the other side of the world. Well, not the world, but of the USA. So, plus I have to work, and I didn't, I didn't really, well, it kind of looks pretty decent. Like, his eyes kind of remind me of Shark Attack. But um, I, I didn't really see myself making such a long trip over there just for Worlds. Worlds is great, don't get me wrong, but I don't think this year I was going to take a plane trip over there if I wasn't attending myself. And, um... These packs aren't really making me very happy. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Um, I picked these up at the uh, the my local card shop, and normally I just buy the whole entire booster box just so I know I'm I'm getting my pulls. But I was like, you know what? Let me just pick up some loose loose leaf singles really quickly and uh, see what I can pull from there. And so far, really nothing great, honestly. If you guys pull anything great from the codes, let me know down below, trying to get my spirits back up and at them. Um, we're trying to like do some other cool things on the channel. Uh, I'll explain to it in just a second. I think here's the last three. We got a Trubbish, a Slowpoke, Reverse Hollow, and the final card of this set will be a Minor, Minior. Uh, what is that? Just regular rare hollow. So out of all this, man, that's really nothing great, honestly. I think what maybe one other hollow. Uh, what is all this? Um, yeah, there's really nothing great out of, out of any of this, honestly. A bunch of reverse hollows and things like that. I think miner is probably the only thing I actually like, just because I think he kind of looks cool. But outside of that, really nothing great from these. But the main point of this video was, is we are trying to open up a TCG store online. So if you guys are into picking up loose leaf singles and things like that, we're trying to get that rocking and operational in about a month or two. Uh, my friend plays Magic, so we'll have Magic and Pokemon on the website. I'm also seeing a lot of people say, uh, get rid of your bulk and lots. So if I can figure out how to do lots in a fair and concise way so everyone kind of wins, we'll probably start that up also. But like always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.